Hey, it's Michael here. And I wanted to, you know, I just snuck over to this bedroom real quick because I just was really inspired to ask you a question this week. And the question is, who do you know that we need to share or scream from the rooftops about them? Do you know a small business owner, a handyman, somebody you go to church with, somebody you work with, a relative, maybe it's you. But I was just thinking, you know, the last few years, the economy has been very hard for a lot of folks and still is. And, you know, as a realtor, I'm very often in a position of sort of becoming a project manager on a transaction. And we're always referring folks and meeting new business owners. But I wanted to give you guys a chance to share back to me that message. Who do we know that we need to celebrate more? We're always doing a business spotlight. And I'd like to include more people. I'd like to expand that reach and celebrate some of these amazing folks in our community. So that's my ask of you this week is share some of those names back. Now, also this week, down below, you'll find some of our more popular blog posts we put up this week. Um, it'll give you, a, you know, a, a really great mile high view of what's going on in our current ever changing real estate world and economy. As far as our local market and what do the last few months of 2024, what are they going to look like? This is a question I get daily. And here's what I think. We have been talking about being in a shifting market for a little while now. And I think a lot of where the market goes here over the next few months is going to come down to those Federal Reserve interest rate cuts. If we see interest rates dip into that 5% range, I think we're going to see a big uptick in houses for sale because many sellers have been reluctant to sell their house because their mortgage is 4% or below. And that is, uh, the, forget the exact statistic, but it's like 40% of the country or something has a mortgage in those low rates. So if we can get within, say, you know, a percentage point or something of that, why would you not cash all that equity you have in your house out and move your lifestyle forward? It's what's going to happen. So these last few months for you as a buyer, I think, are a tremendous opportunity. If rates come down, until inventory jumps up, you're going to see home prices go back up. Until we get enough houses on the market to saturate that need, you're not going to see prices come back down. So I think if you're, if you need a house over the next few months, you got, a, you know, a good pre-qualification and you don't want as much competition as we probably are going to see in 2025, I think September, October, November, and even December are great a great opportunity to buy a house. Not only do we normally see a little bit of a slowdown this time of year, but in a presidential year, there's just too much emotional stress attached to folks going into this year. Um, there's a lot of good reasons to be a buyer right now. So anyway, I'll catch you guys soon. If you have any questions, hit me back. And don't forget, send me those people we want to celebrate that you love in them. There's my call.